video is to demonstrate for you how to do your voiceovers on your keynote. You're going to notice that I have my iPad set up here and I also have a printed off copy of my information packet for my presentation. For this example, I made a pretend presentation about Pennsylvania that I'm going to share with you so that you know exactly how to do your voiceover. First thing we have to do is pull up our keynote presentation on our assigned research topic. So I'm going to go to the keynote app and here I have my Pennsylvania research project. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start my screen recording now. Now you might think, this is a little early to start recording our, ski our screen. We're going to have this weird background in there, but that's okay because later on we can edit some things out in iMovie, and I'll teach you how to do that process as well. So we're going to go ahead, make sure our microphone is on. It is. We're all good. And now I'm going to start recording. I can see the red dot is in the upper right-hand corner, so my screen is now recording. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to play my keynote presentation so that it is the only thing that appears on the screen. In order to play your keynote presentation, you're going to hit the triangle that is pointing to the right in the upper right-hand corner. Now, my keynote presentation is playing. This is where I would start to record my voiceover. Again, we can tell that my screen is recording. The red dot is there. It's just kind of small in the upper right-hand corner. It's tiny up there, so it's still recording everything that is being said right now and what's on the screen of my iPad. So, let's go ahead and start off. This is my research project on Pennsylvania by Mr. Lacer. Pennsylvania is located in the northeastern portion of the United States. It is bordered by Ohio on the west, New Jersey in the east, West Virginia and Maryland in the south, and New York on its northern border. Lake Erie separates Pennsylvania from Canada in the northwestern portion. Now, what I've done there is, I've finished with this slide, I stopped my recording, and now I'm going to get ready to do the next slide. You do not have to stop your slide recording if you don't want to. You can make one big, long, continuous video, but sometimes then when we make mistakes, it becomes challenging to edit out those mistakes. I like to separate it into smaller portions. So now I'm on the... I'm going to go to the next slide, which is physical features. I'm going to go ahead and start my screen recording again. The red dots in the upper right hand corner, so I'm ready to go. Pennsylvania has a number of prominent physical features. Lake Erie is part of our Great Lakes system. It provides a water route for New York, Ohio, Michigan, and Canada and allows us to transport goods back and forth between those locations. Pennsylvania also has a number of major river systems, including the Susquehanna, which is in the central part of Pennsylvania, the Delaware, which is our border between New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and then the Allegheny and Ohio River system. The Allegheny and Ohio River system start up near Franklin, PA, and extend down into Pittsburgh, where the Allegheny meets the Monongahela and helps form the Ohio River. That river eventually empties into the Mississippi, which goes all the way down to Louisiana in New Orleans, where it empties out into the Caribbean. Next, we have the Allegheny Mountains. The Allegheny Mountains are located in the south central portion of Pennsylvania, and they are part of the larger mountain chain, chain known as the Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachian Mountains extend from up in Maine all the way down to Georgia. 
again, this is where I would pause my video to get ready for the next section. The next section is my man-made features. And again, I have my man-made features notes right here in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and start my recording. It's recording now. There are also a number of really cool man-made features in Pennsylvania. We know about the Brig Niagara because it is located here in northwestern PA on Lake Erie. The Brig Niagara is a replica of the battleship that sailed during the War of 1812. It's now used as a teaching vessel. Independence Hall is one of the many cool buildings out in Philadelphia. It is where our founding documents were debated, uh, voted on, adopted, and signed. Documents like the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. But pictured here, we'll find the Duquesne Incline. The Duquesne Incline is like a trolley car that climbs up the side of Mount Washington in Pittsburgh. And it takes passengers from down by the river up to the top of the mountainside. It's really cool. Again, I'm going to pause my video, stop that clip. I'm going to go to my next slide. I'm going to start my video again. The red dot's on. I'm good to record. There are a number of major cities throughout Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh is home to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it's where the Allegheny River meets the Monongahela River, and they combine to form the Ohio River, the river system that we talked about earlier in the video. Philadelphia was our nation's first capital. It was Pennsylvania's first city, and it's the location of Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell. Pictured here is a photo of Harrisburg. Harrisburg is our state capital. It's where all of our state government business is conducted. Again, I finished that section. I'm going to stop my video. And that's how we're going to do our voiceover. Now, when we go back into my photo roll, we're going to see each of those little videos right there that I recorded. We'll eventually combine those video clips using iMovie. This is how you're going to record your voiceovers for your research project.